It's October 5th, Thursday evening, and you are listening to the Khan Baba. Welcome everybody. Wherever you're tuned in from and, we love you and we're glad you're here. Let, start the today information. Dr. Haytham Hamad Matlak Al-Mansur, despite the controversy of economists on the issue of internal public debt, and with the increasing social and political pressure on the public spending policies of the Iraqi government to fill the important gaps in the service reality and the practice of economic activity, and in light of the sharp decline in the elasticity of non-oil output with insufficient oil revenues, despite its huge size to finance the general budget deficit, the realistic alternative internal public debt practiced by the monetary authority comes through its restriction of this type of financing, including expanding the scope of the money supply with its relevant mechanisms and tools, and based on the economic reality, the size of this debt has become large compared to the sharp decline in the efficiency of the the financial market. Therefore, it is not surprising that the Iraqi economy is witnessing an increase in the the growth of the size of the internal public debt, as it represents the quantitative balance of the financial deficits accumulated since 2004 until now, at an amount estimated at about 70 trillion dinars, according to the latest official statistics of the central bank, to be accompanied by raising the monetary policy interest rate from 47.5%. The interest rate on Central Bank of Iraq instruments was raised from 3-4% to 7.5%, in addition to raising the legal reserve ratio from 15-18%. Despite what the Financial Sustainability Index for Internal Public Debt reveals, that its ratio to the gross domestic product in Iraq ranges between 30-35%, which is a fairly acceptable ratio economically compared to the international standard ratio of 60%, the specter of the expected risks of unsustainability remains. Internal public debt is not far off if the relevant specialized policies are not prepared and enabled through the following signs. Number 1. Risk related to the stability of the relative value of the debt after the growth rate of the real value of the debt is close to or greater than the growth rate of the real GDP, and from there the real value of the government's financial assets, the debt instrument, will decrease, and with it the government's ability to repay will decrease. Number 2. The risks of high levels of government operating. Spending most of which is employee salaries, and high levels of government appointments, which burden the general budget and increase the deficit rate, including government debt. The impact of weak public debt management on the independence of the monetary authority. As the size of the public debt increases and its circle expands, this affects the monetary authority's tools and their effectiveness. Therefore, Fiscal and monetary policies must draw up a coordinated strategy for the sustainability of public debt towards containing all its burdens and negative effects on the practice of economic activity, and enabling payment through comprehensive measures to diagnose the determinants and factors of attracting investment that enhances real values and for the productivity of internal public debt to be an important factor in increasing the growth rate in the domestic product. Thank you.